Hey guys, today we are doing a try on Sephora haul. There's a lot of new stuff and a lot of stuff that I wanted to make sure I tried before the big like sales event that starts later on at this month, I think October 28th. So we're probably gonna be doing a lot of these <laughs> Sephora try on hauls prior to that so that I can make a very uh, well-educated recommendations list for you guys, uh, which I love to do every time this event rolls around. It's so much fun. Everyone gets so excited for this event. Um, and yeah, let's go ahead and jump right in. Let me show you uh, what I'm gonna be trying. The Summer Fridays Sheer Skin Tint. I ordered it in shade one, and then I did pick up the limited edition Givenchy Prism Libre uh, Loose Powder four in one harmony i'm just trying to see oh yeah there is a shade it is number 12 lumiere Pol polaire i don't know anyway <laughs> we're going to be trying that um we're also going to be trying the patrick ta uh, blush palette that just came out this is the major headlines blush palette volume two we're also going to be trying the huda beauty empowered eyeshadow palette i am not usually attracted to Huda Beauty eyeshadow palettes for whatever reason. Maybe the color story doesn't speak to me. Um, sometimes she has like some really funky shades in there that I'm just, you know, I'm like, okay, I'll never use those. But this one looks really, really interesting to me. So we are definitely going to be trying this guy out. Um, and I have some stuff from Merit. I have a, a new lip product from Laura Mercier. So let's let's jump right into it. So Summer Fridays, sheer skin tint. And again, I got it in the shade one. And I love a good sheer skin tint. So I really wanted to try this. And I do enjoy Summer Fridays. They have that really lovely uh, mask. It comes in the blue tube. Um, anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and shake this up. Shake well before using. Smooth over skin. Blah, blah, blah. They don't say brush or fingers or anything. I may start with my fingers. You guys know I usually use a brush, but I may start with my fingers. And this is made in Canada, and this is a one fluid ounce. So this top screws off, and then we have that kind of pointy tip applicator. And we have a pretty thin consistency here. You can see that running down the back of my hand. I wonder why I went with shade one. I'm usually not one. One is usually a little bit like too pale for my skin tone, but I don't know if maybe two seemed a little bit too dark. But I'm just gonna, as they say, smooth over my skin. Ooh, it feels really nice. It feels smooth, but it doesn't feel, you know, over overly like slippy, like the way something with a lot of silicone does. This feels a little bit more uh, lotion-y. Yeah, a little bit more lotion-y. And I'm just applying it to half of my face because I do want to uh, compare it to the side with nothing on it, just to see. I feel like that's the best way to tell like how much coverage something has. All right, so there is just a little bit on the side of my face. I think my, my skin looks a little bit more evened out, but this is a very, very light, um, as the name would suggest, a sheer skin tint. I would say that is very, very accurate. It's very, very sheer. It's just a slight tint. And this is totally in my wheelhouse. I really, really like this. I don't like heavy coverage uh, base products at all. I feel like it's gonna look like a little bit more coverage once I get it all over my face. So why don't I go ahead and apply it to uh, the other side of my face. This is, uh, this is really nice. Feels really nice, went on really nicely. It's very, very accurate. There's no surprises here. And I really like this so far. Okay. All right, Summer Fridays, sheer skin tint. I haven't heard that many people talk about this, maybe a few people here on YouTube. Let me know if you've tried this uh, down below in the comment section. If you enjoy it, don't enjoy it. Um, I have dry skin, FYI. I have really dry skin, so products like this um, always feel really nice on the skin. Because that was so sheer, I do think I need a little bit of a concealer. Um, I don't have a new concealer, so I'm just gonna throw on um, this, sorry, I'm looking around my vanity for anything else because I've been using this a lot again lately. Um, it's the Dior Forever Skin Correct Concealer in 2N. And I'm just gonna apply just a little bit like under my eyes. I have not been sleeping that well. So yeah, I need a little bit of help under there. So I'm just gonna blend that in quickly here. And then we can move on to the Givenchy powder. Right, let's jump over to the Givenchy uh, Lumiere Polaire powder. So we've got, oh, neat. You know, that's what it looked like. So this limited edition holiday packaging for Givenchy, everything looked like like a puffy jacket, but I wasn't quite sure. I didn't know if it was like some sort of illusion. 
Um, but yeah, this is actually puffy. <laughs> <laughs> Very cute. The four powders in here, yeah, they are all different. Let me hold it up like this. So those are the four different shades in there. So this is a uh, pretty cool toned, it looks. I have a couple of these uh, Givenchy powders and I really, really like them. They have a nice um, like satin, very, very soft, subtle satin. Um, finish and I really enjoy that too, a loose powder. It's not too matte, it's not drying looking at all. I'm just gonna kind of turn it over. Just pick up a bit on my powder brush. This is a Chikahoto GSN one brush. And I'm just gonna pat onto my cheeks. Very nice, so I applied it to this side. I don't know, I think it's pretty translucent. I really don't see much of like a tint change or anything, but I definitely see a lot less glow on this side. But there's that really, really like subtle satin finish that I like. So like it does its thing. It sets down my foundation. It does like bring shine down, but not, not to the point where you look dry and decrepit. <laughs> I think there's a, there a little bit of, I'm trying to sniff the powder without snorting it, but I think there's a little bit of fragrance to this. So there is the Givenchy limited edition powder. Very nice, very nice. Very similar to their other Prism Libre powders. If you're familiar with them, you'll probably really enjoy this one too. It has a similar uh, effect on the skin. What next? So I have uh, two blush situations here because I really wanted to try these bubble blushes from Merit. They're called the Flush Balm. And I don't, I don't know why, because I love these bubble type blushes. As you guys know, I had the Chantecaille ones. I had ones from Guerlain. And uh, I got the shade... Beverly Hills, is that the shade name? Yeah, the shade name Beverly Hills. And this is what it looks like. Here is the shade swatch. Ooh, pretty. So if I had two blushes, I would just do one on one cheek, one on the other, but I've got all of these in here. So this actually has two uh, blushes and one highlight. Here are some shades of all six of the products here. So we have cream products along the top and powder products along the bottom. It's just the layout is the same as his previous blush palette. So we have Giving Flirty, which is like that bright pink, Giving Sunkissed, which is the center coral shade, and the highlight shade is Giving Glossy. So I think what I'll do is I'll just go with the Giving Sunkissed, the one in the middle here. So they always recommend putting the powder down first and then layering the cream on top. So I'm going to grab my Refer number five blush brush, and I'm gonna pick up this coral shade here and dust it lightly onto my cheeks. Now I'm not sure if you guys could tell in the swatches, but there is like a little bit of micro glitter going on in here. And I also wanna point out, and I'm not that familiar with Patrick Ta blushes, but there's a lot of kick up with these particular blushes. They're very, very soft. I feel like the formula of these blushes is a little bit different from his previous ones, probably because they have a little bit more shimmer and shine where his previous blushes have been at most like a satin sheen. They've been a little bit more of like a demi matte. Um, so anyway, just wanted to point that out because they are very powdery. All right, so there is Sunkissed. Beautiful coral shade. I do feel like these shades are a little bit more appropriate for like the spring, summertime. I felt that way about his other blush palette. I think he must have released that around the holidays as well, just like this one. And I felt like I had to hold off on using that one. I kind of feel the same way about this. Not that you can't use any blush color you want, but these are just, they're just very summery, very summery to me. All right, so there is just the powder down. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up a little bit of the cream product just with my finger and just tap it on top. And it does add a little bit more color, very, very, very little, a uh, little bit more color to the blush, but it really gives it a nice sheen, really pretty. Oh, I like that. It is a beautiful shade. All right, and on this side, I'm gonna grab the Merit blush and just tap that on. So there is the Merit blush. It's much more subtle <laughs> than the Patrick Ta. A little bit more sheer. It's so nice and glossy though. I like, I like the texture of this. It doesn't set down, but it's not like tacky. 
All right, so there is the Merit. Pretty, oh, I like this. I think I didn't try this Merit blush because I tried their highlighter stick and I don't like their highlighter stick. It's a little bit oily. It's a little bit kind of, it's like too emollient for me. Um, I didn't like it and I kind of stopped trying Merit stuff until I tried that signature lip, which I love. I did get another shade today, which we can try. So anyway, um, let's move on to the highlight in Patrick Ta now. So we're gonna be trying this one, which is Giving Glossy. And again, we're gonna lay the powder down first. And just gonna brush that up top here. That's pretty. That's a little bit more subtle than I thought, but there's definitely a highlight there. I definitely see those micro glitters in there. If you're not a fan of that, and I'm not the biggest fan of that, I don't think you're really gonna like this. Yeah, because it looks kind of sparkly. For the holidays, okay, you know, if you're going to a party, but uh, an everyday highlight, I really don't like micro glitters. I'm just tapping the cream on top. And this cream highlight is um, just basically like a, like a glossy balm. There really isn't much of like a tint to it. It's a very, very subtle highlight. Okay, okay, a subtle highlight. I think I've been using a lot of really over the top highlights lately, like the Pat McGrath, the Tom Ford highlights. Those are so, so glowy and so wet looking that this very beautifully subtle highlight, I'm like, I don't see anything. <laughs> it's there, it's a subtle highlight, but it's definitely there. Well, I really enjoy the shades of this, but the micro glitter, not, not the biggest fan of that. All right, uh, let me go ahead and throw on some brows. I've got my Tom Ford fiber brow gel here. Right. And now I'm so excited for this empowered um, eyeshadow palette from Huda Beauty. So here is a close up of all 18 shades in here. And wow, they're just, they're so beautiful. So I swatch these the way they appear in the palette because I just knew I was gonna run out of arm space. So I'll go across the top from left to right. First we have Purpose, Courageous, Limitless, Confident, Charisma, Keep Going. Next we have Big Dreams, Manifest It, Bold Moves, Do It, Power, Get It. And then the last row is Worthy, Rebel, Winner, Visionary, Best Self, and Legacy. So. Just upon first observation, of course, we have to dig in and get them on my eyes. Um, I wish that there was maybe just one of these matte shades, and then we kind of like varied up the tone a little bit because I think all three of those are kind of kind of similar, kind of similar. Um, but then we have like a, a huge variety of cream shades, mattes, metallics, and then some of these kind of funky gel, um, like gel cream shades. So this is like a gel cream shade. Um, these two are actual cream shades. And then let me see if there's anything else that's kind of funky. These two shades are really, really interesting. They're kind of flaky and foily. And then the rest, yeah, the rest are like metallics, mattes, and then we have this kind of like marbleized um, shadow down here. So I'm gonna start with Big Dreams, which is this matte shade over here. And I'm gonna use my BK Beauty A503 brush, big fluffy blender brush, and apply to the outer corner and just kind of frame out my eyes here. This palette was made in, does it say on the back here? Made in Italy. And this cover, by the way, is a QR code. So you can hold your phone's camera up to it and like a little link will come up and it'll take you to the Huda Beauty site. I, will, I won't ruin the surprise. I'll let you guys do it. <laughs> okay, so far the shadow is behaving the way a lot of shadows behave. It's not misbehaving in any way is what I'm trying to say. I really do like this shade too. It's a little bit on the cool side, but it's pretty neutral. Um, hmm. I really, really, really want to use this courageous metallic shade and this one too. So I think I'm going to go into the marbleized one down here, Visionary. And I'm using my uh, refer number two brush, which is a flat shader brush. Going into Visionary and trying to pick up like equal amounts of the two shades that are in here, that burgundy and the uh, copper. And just gonna add that 
Ooh, this is like a very smooth metallic. You know, I wanted to do a cool tone look, but I really wanted to try these unique shades in here. This one happens to be really warm, <laughs> really, really warm. I'm gonna take my Esam W23 brush and go into Courageous, which is this shade up here. And I'm gonna apply this to the outer corner here. This has a pretty deep base color here. It's um, very smoky. I think the brush I picked is too big, hang on. Yeah, actually I'm gonna take my favorite outer corner brush, which is the W36 from Esam. And blend that in. I feel like I am creating a very spooky kind of eye look. I did not mean to, but I am not, I'm not hating this. I'm not hating this at all. Ooh, I like that. This shade definitely, I mean, I think it reads very, very dark. Like I see the base of the color more than the actual reflect, which is what you see in the pan here, that kind of burgundy shade. I really see a lot more of that like sootiness. Wow, all right, well, if you wanna do a Halloween look, I would suggest those two shades, Visionary and Courageous. So this shade right here, like running down the middle is like this clear gel and and then like the shadows on either side of it. So I think I need to like mix it up with my finger. Oh yeah, Ooh, wow, wow, look at that. What should I do? I'll put it right here. Oh, and there's like a little bit of like tackiness to this. Ooh, ooh, that's fun. Now I'm giving you more like candy corn vibes with this gold next to the orange there. All right, so I'm gonna go into Limitless, which is this gold shade. I'm gonna use my finger. This is very uh, flaky and kind of loose, kind of creamy, <laughs> all at the same time. Yeah, it's really kind of foily. Um, I'm just gonna layer this on top of that inner corner shade. Wow. Wow, 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 wow actually goes on a lot smoother than I thought it would. I thought it was gonna look a little piecey on there until I actually kind of like smeared it in. Wow, and it's pretty opaque. Pretty much uh, covered up that copper shade, the visionary shade. Wow, this is like real gold finger vibes here. Wow, kind of cool. I am going out for dinner tonight. <laughs> Maybe I will just leave this on. All right, I think that's all I can um, kind of squeeze onto my eyes, but I did try a lot of the different textures in here. The only ones I didn't try are these two cream shadows um, because they're so dark. I wasn't really, I really wanted to see the other shades by themselves. I felt like if I use those as a base, which is what I think you, you would probably use those as, that I wouldn't be getting like a true sense of the other shades. Anyway, um, but I did try this kind of jelly one, this marbled one, this flaky shade, and then this metallic shade, and then a matte. Which matte? I tried this matte. Now I know many of you are gonna ask me if I would recommend this or the Natasha Denona. I would still recommend the Natasha Denona only because I'm more familiar with Natasha Denona and I know her shadows just work effortlessly, really, really smoothly, her mattes, her metallics, everything. Um, I have not had enough experience with Huda Beauty, um, but so far I think this palette is a lot of fun. You know, if this color story speaks to you a little bit more with like the golds in there and the really like um, bright coppers and the really bright metallics, you know, this one is probably a better uh, fit for you. But yeah, the Natasha Denona, I think for me is probably, if I had to choose one, that's probably the one I would go for. All right, I'm gonna use my Chantecai Luster Glide Eyeliner in Jasper, which is uh, like a very subtle, subtly metallic, bronzy kind of brown. And I'm gonna tight line with it and then add to my lower lash line here. And I'm gonna curl my lashes, um, throw on some mascara, cause I don't have new mascara for you. And we'll be back to play with the lip products that I got. Okay, so I did pick up one of the new Laura Mercier Petal Soft Lipstick Crayons um, in the shade Jean 303. I really love crayons. I just think that they're so, so easy to use. So I had to pick this up. Um, there are a bunch of different shades, but I thought I would just start with this one because I didn't know how this was gonna feel 
on the lips and it looks like yeah you can raise and lower it so let me throw this on it has a really light tint it's pretty it feels very uh, slippy a lot of silicone I think these are meant to be or like to have like a matte finish which I would say so these definitely aren't like super glossy looking but they're comfortable okay um, I also did pick up another Merit Signature Lip in Cabo, and I did also pick up one of their uh, tinted lip oils in the shade Taupe. So let's see. I think I'll want to swatch those individually. I was thinking maybe I could put the lip oil on top of the lipstick, but I don't think that's going to work. So let me take this off, and I'm going to try this Cabo Signature Lip. I love these Signature Lips, and they were out of stock for so long, but they're pretty much back in stock, at least on Sephora. It's these guys, and these are the ones that have just like a nice, nice amount of tint to them. They're not overly opaque, so they're just really easy to apply and wear. Um, here is the Cabo shade. Let's do a swatch. There it is. Ooh, nice orange. All right. I feel like I, I taste this lipstick and I didn't have that with the other shades that I got. Maybe it's just this shade. Interesting. I wonder if it's going to go away. Okay. There is Cabo. I love this color. Oh my God. I love it so much. And these feel so great. Very, very moisturizing on the lips. Really feels like you're just wearing a lip balm and the yeah, that taste is like dissipating already. That's good. Okay, so that is Cabo. Let me take this off and then we'll try this uh, lip oil. All right, so here is the lip oil and this is in the shade Taupe. No kind of uh, taste to it, no, no scent or fragrance that I can detect. Definitely feels like an oil on the lips. Yeah, it has that like slickness to it and very lightly tinted. I like this Taupe, it like, cool down my lips a little bit. Oh, lovely. All right. Well, those are all the things that I got to try on for you. So far, I really like everything. I feel like this Merit, the Flush Balm is fading a little bit. So because it's a cream product, maybe I'll want to powder a little bit. Maybe it makes like a nice base, but by itself, I feel like I'm seeing that it's fading already. Um, the Patrick Ta is really beautiful except for the micro glitter. If you don't like that, I don't think you'll like this. The Huda Beauty was a lot of fun, a lot of fun and really beautiful. And I'm trying to see if I have fallout from those shades. I don't think so. I don't, I don't see any. The Givenchy powder I really enjoyed. The Summer Fridays, if you like a really, really light, light, comfortable kind of tint to your skin, this is really nice so far. All right. Wow. Thank you guys so, so much for tuning in. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video.